Welcome dear students to my channel Biology with Dr. Ishwar Rani. Today we are going to discuss the Tura Alba, Thorn Apple and it belongs to family Solanaceae. Solanaceae family also known as Nightshade or Potato family. It comprises 102 genera and nearly 2500 species. Member of family Solanaceae found all over the world but most of them are abundant in tropical regions. Among the most important of those potato family having eggplant like Solanum melanogena, capsicum and uh, lycopersicum, nicotina tubecum and the Tura plant. So we will discuss the vegetative characters. Plants are mostly herbs, shrubs and rarely small trees and comprising taproot which are branch, stem always herbaceous, sometimes uh, woody, aerial, erect, cylindrical and are glabrous or uh, hairs are there and leaves are alternate simple pinnately compound leaves and fruits are warty, sparsely, spiny scent, capsule and uh, seed is endospermic. So here are the floor characters. In fluorescence, we will discuss solid trees, axillary or cymos. Flowers are bisexual, ectomorphic, variously colored uh, from uh, white to uh, purple and other colors are also there. Pentamerous, regular and hypogynous. While there are five calyx which are united or you can say that gamosapless, they are persistent and bell shape or you can say that they are companulate and volvet estivation is there. Corolla also five petals are there. They are gamo petalous, infundibulary and estivation is volvate and having five androsium having five stamens which are bithecious and epipetalous gynesium having two carpels they are bicalpary and syncarpus and ovary is superior and having exile presentation and proformula containing ectomorphic, bisexual, K5, C5, A5 and gynesium or carpus R2. So today we have thorn apple, botanical name is the Tura alba, common name is thorn apple. You can see this, this is a thorny but apple shape. This is a wild plant and belongs to family Solanaceae. So we will discuss the inferences. It is cymose type, you can see that the main axis turn into flower. It is axillary cymose and flowers are solitary flowers. All the axis turn into flower. This is axillary cymose. The Tura alba is of cymose type. You can see that the main axis terminate into flower. It is axillary cymose. In front this is axillary cymose and you can see the flower having distinct stalk. It is pedicillate flower. So let's discuss the parts of the flower. So the flower, it is the pedicel, it is pedicellate flower and first rail which is calyx. We will discuss how many parts in a calyx. We will open this flower and you will see there are five calyx. One, two, three, four and five. I will open all the parts for you. It is hairy, the small hairs are there. It is hairy and green in color 
and compenulate in shape just like you have a bell shape this is a bell shape just like bell we will open this and we will discuss all the parts so the first rail these are the green colored sepals or group of sepals called calyx these are five in numbers and they are all united it means it is gamosepalous when the sepals are fused we use the term gamosepalous these sepals will persistent uh, till the end of the seed when you will have fruit these are the persistent as you can see in tomatoes and you can see in uh, capsicum and other uh, others other members of family solanaceae like brinjal tomato capsicum these are the members of family solanaceae now here is the petals you can see the petals whole petals it's a, these are the petals these are the five petals and this arrangement is known as infundi buddhi form because these are the funnel shape we will separate out all these parts and then we will see the stamens and the carpels and these petals are gampopetalous because these are all fused petals there is no distance in any petal these are all fused it is gamopetalous and volvate here they are facing each other they are volvate in arrangement and in fundi buddhi form and they are attached with the sepals and this type of inflorescence is present in datura alba now we will separate the stamens here these are clear you can see these are the long stamens they are five in numbers here these are the petals and stamens were attached with or jointed with that petals so this type of arrangement is known as epipetalous here you can see the stamens there are five in numbers having long plament all the stamens having long plament these are the long plament and the stamens are basically fixed you can see that the anther having plament attached at the base of this anther these are basically fixed stamen and numbers are in five in numbers and they are polyandrous now we will discuss the carpel there are bicarpellary there are two carpels in the tura alba and they are syn carpels because these carpels are fused and ovary is superior here you can see that i have taken this from here and ovary is superior ovary is superior when we cut this ovary it will have four chambers or false septa it is tetralocular ovary so these are the sepals they are five in numbers you can count them these are five in numbers and they are gamosepalous because all sepals are fused and collection of sepals called calyx this is first rail five fused sepals are there and there is these are the petals and these are the second rail corolla you can also count they are five in number and they are volvate because they are facing each other they are volvate and this arrangement is known as infundibulary form this is campanulate type and here are the stamens you can count these are the five stamens and they have long anther is there a long flament is there here is a stem uh, anther and there is a flament and this is the uh, carpels they are bicarpellary and here is the ovary which is having four lacus false due to false septa it is divided into four chambers this is called four locular or tetralocular this flower is actinomorphic because you can cut from any section into equal halves this is actinomorphic flower 
you can cut from this axis or this axis into two equal half so the symmetry this is actinomorphic and you have both the sexes are there stamens and carpal this is bisexual and having five calyx which are fused and then we will use the symbol k5 and in bracket we will use the k5 then these are the petals five petals are there but the these petals were attached here you can see that here these are the attachment of petals with the stamens and this is epipetalous here are five stamens inside you can see these are the five stamens then we have gynesium or ovary this is uh, bicarpillary two carpels are there and ovary is superior you can see that we will open this and here these are the first rail which is calyx and corolla and inside there will be the ovary so we will we have opened this ovary and we uh, already saw that this is the superior ovary so it is the tura alba thorn apple family solanaceae belongs to family solanaceae and here is the floral formula of the tura alba it is actinomorphic it means you can cut from any direction into two equal halves then you have seen the stamens as well as carpal so it is bisexual then we have calyx or sepals you have count them there were five sepals but they were fused so we will use this bracket symbol if they are gamosepals now we have calyx corolla it means petals petals were also fused so we'll use gamopetalous if the petals are fused we will use this symbol that petals are fused so gamopetalous then we have a5 it means uh, anthers or stamens were five so we will use a5 and this symbol is uh, due to attachment that it joint petals were jointed with the anthers so this is epipetalous so here is the last which is gynesium or you can see that the carpels they were bicarpillary here is a gynesium gynesium two carpels bicarpillary and we will use this symbol because the ovary were superior if the ovary is hypogynous then the ovary will be superior if the ovary will inferior we will use this symbol if the ovary will half inferior or half superior or you can say that the perigynous type then you will use this symbol this one so this is hypogynous ovary superior this is epigynous ovary inferior this is perigynous half superior half inferior so here is the floral formula of the tura alba now we will discuss the floral diagram of the tura alba the floral diagram of the tura alba belongs to family solanaceae you can see there are five sepals the first rail is calyx they were attached that's why we use this symbol which means the sepals were gamosepals now the second rail which is petals or corolla the petals were also fused that's why we use this type of diagram and this is gamopetalous then you have seen that from petals the stamens were attached then that's why you will use this type of symbols that stamens were attached to the petals so here are five petals were there and then we have the innermost part which is carpels we have two carpels bicarpillary and due to this false septa carpels were divided into tetralocular or four in numbers so this type of arrangement if the petals sepals and stamens were five in number it is also known as pentamerous arrangement five sepals five petals five stamens are there so this is the floral diagram of the tura alba 
so here are the different parts for your description that you can see the different parts including calyx corolla androsium gynosium floroformula and prodiagram so the last one we have significance of the tura alba as you know that it is also known as thorn apple it is deadly toxic uh, plant and it is used in traditionally in uh, both type of medicines often it is used to relieve asthma symptoms and reduce pain during surgery and bone fractures it is used for treating hair and other skin uh, diseases thank you so much for more videos like share and subscribe my channel